Okay, today we are going to do a construction, the copy of an angle. So step one says draw a segment and label a point D on the segment. So I'm gonna go down here into my box and I'm going to draw a segment. Make a point and label it D. So we are going to copy this angle that you see right down here. Second thing, step two says draw arcs. Draw an arc with center A using the same radius drawn with arc, drawn with center D. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to label it A. And I'm going to draw an arc. The slider can be anywhere it needs to be. The only rule is it has to go through both sides of our angle up top. I'm going to label it C and B down here. Okay. And I'm going to draw a similar arc down here on the new angle area. Okay, the third thing, the step three, says label, label B, C, and E. Okay, we already labeled B and we labeled C. Now we're going to label E. Okay, and we're going to draw an arc with a radius BC. So what we need to do is we need to measure BC. So we're going to take our compass. We're going to come up here and we're going to measure. So I'm going to measure from C to B. My compass, move my slider. Okay, it's a little bit shorter than that. It's making it tough on this one. We will go here and we will do our best to measure, start from E and then go right about there. So now we have the same distance from C to B as we do from E and I'm going to call this F. Okay, and the last step that we need to do is we need to connect our vertex D with our point F. And this arc, FE, is congruent to this arc, BC. So we have effectively copied that angle. Okay, watch this video back. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me or ask uh, your teacher. Have a great day.